I'm Alan Kenny, managing editor with REIT.com, and I'm in sunny San Diego, California for REIT World 2012, near REIT's annual convention. Joining me is REIT industry veteran Gil Mena, partner with Goodwin Proctor. Gil, can you tell us a little bit about uh, where you see the IPO market for REITs going forward right now? It's a good question, Alan. Um, we have some REITs that are in registration with the SEC now that have been there for quite some time, waiting for the market to uh, rebound, quote unquote. Um, and there are other uh, issues that are relatively new and uh, working their way through the SEC process that haven't been languishing in the registration. Um, I think the market is so volatile that I think it's anyone's guess, to be quite frank with you. Um, having said that, um, there are recent issues that were um, minted that were fabulously done. Spirit's a good example. Um, we just don't see a, lot, a big backlog, uh, obviously. Everyone's talking about the larger portfolios and waiting for them to come out to the marketplace. But I don't think that we're going to see a resurgent, notwithstanding the stress in the real estate industry generally and the amount of debt that's still uh, maturing in the foreseeable future. Uh, we're not going to see a lot of uh, IPO activity in my judgment. What about all the other different kinds of transactions? What's going on there? I think transaction volume has certainly picked up. Um, there's no doubt about that. Um, foreign investors were significant investors in the U.S. Uh, this year. Um, I think they were the largest equity capital invested uh, of any class of equity participants in the real estate industry uh, in 2012. I think you're likely to see some more of that as well. Um, and just simply transaction volume is just slowly uh, increasing. Can you give us a little bit of insight into what's going on with non-U.S. investment in U.S. REITs? Yes, absolutely. Um, non uh, I think foreign investors and sovereign wealth funds are certainly investing in U.S. real estate. Um, I think some of the larger REIT IPOs that might come to market with the larger portfolios that everyone has been talking about may well certainly try to attract sovereign wealth fund capital into uh, those investments um, or even consider doing transactions with those participants investing shoulder to shoulder, if you will, with the public equity markets. So private placements with sovereign wealth funds that would be tethered with um, a public offering. Um, but I don't think that sovereign wealth funds as a whole notwithstanding the tax advantages of investing in REIT and the liquidity associated with them, are necessarily focused solely on REITs. So I think they're focused on U.S. real estate investments. And do you think that we have a fully functioning CMBS market at this point? Um, I would say that it's functioning, uh, certainly not fully functioning, uh, not likely to go back to the, to the era of uh, pre-financial crisis. I think we've been clipping along at $30 billion of CMBS volume. Um, I think it would be really f helpful to the market to, if that could get uh, ramped up just a bit to a $50 billion um, volume in 2013, I think that would be a really good sign uh, and actually would uh, bode well for the continuing increase in transaction volume, both for assets in the six major cities, uh, um, CBD locations in the U.S., as well as in um, you know, secondary cities, not necessarily tertiary cities, but secondary cities. If you see some volume in both the volume of CMBS and as well as the location of the underlying mortgages in terms of the real estate assets outside of those major uh, hubs, uh, that would bode well for the industry. And we're looking forward to seeing that in 2013. Keep our fingers crossed. Thank you very much for your time, Gil. Thank you. And for more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to check out REIT.com. Mm -hmm.